Hey guys, welcome back to beauty session number three. I am so happy and like, you don't even know the responses that I'm getting from um, these videos that I've been putting up. It just warms my heart because I literally like really, really enjoy filming these types of videos. Um, and it's just making me happy that you guys are loving them just as much as I'm loving making them. So today, as you can see, I already did my face. I literally, um, to my foundation, um, I started like bronzing up my face. I might go and add a little more bronzer. Um, and I did my brows. I didn't want this video to be like super long like my other two videos. Plus you guys have already seen me do like my full face so you know like what that process is like. So we're just gonna jump right in. I have um, my Derma Blend powder underneath. Um, just so that if I have any fallout from the, I mean, from the eyeshadows, that it doesn't like ruin my um, foundation. Um, so like I said, we're gonna jump in today. I'm gonna be using some stuff that I got from my Boxy Charm. Um, one of the palettes that I'm gonna be using is the Celestial Thunder palette by Dominique Cosmetics. It looks like this. It has such pretty like fally colors. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. So the look that I'm going for today, I want to do something like a like a reddish eye. So along with that palette, I am going to be using a couple other palettes. Um, I'm probably also going to be using my 35-0 palette. Um, actually, this is the 35-0-2 palette, which has like a lot of like orangey, like red tone shadows. I feel like I've used this in another video, but they look like this. So I already primed my eye. I use my usual. Um, my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, 16 hour camel concealer just to prep my eye and then I also set that with some powder. I'm gonna take just, you know, my usual blending brushes and I'm gonna go in the crease with um, kind of like a, a taupey color. I always like to start off my eyeshadows with like a taupey color. Today's topic, I already know like my friends are literally gonna be like dying laughing. Today's topic is gonna be baby mamas. So first of all, I'm gonna make a little disclaimer. This video is not about someone specific, um, but if the shoe fits, then it's about you, right? There's a complete difference between complete difference between a baby mama and a mother of your child. So my definition of a mother of your child is a person who for, you're either with them or you're not with them. However, they accept the fact that you guys are no longer together and they can move on and go along with their life and know that you're gonna start your own life. But they don't care that you're involved in a whole other relationship or like what you're doing with your life. They're gonna be happy for you regardless. And they make it a fact to continue to have your kid in your life regardless of what's going on with your life and what's going on with their life. And they're not bitter. Like that's a, that's a big difference, right? And then oh, the same thing with uh, the father of your child. This is not a bitter man who's trying to get in the way of your happiness. This is someone that understands and knows that you guys are no longer gonna be together if you guys have parted ways and is happy that you are moving on and that you're happy. And he's happy that you're happy because he knows his kids are gonna be happy. And the same thing, if it's the mother of your child, she's happy that you're happy because she knows that when she sends your kids um, your way that they're gonna be good and happy as well. Now a baby mama and a baby daddy, that's a whole different story. My definition of a baby mama is a bitter woman who says she doesn't want to be with you, makes it a point to, to act like they're happy without you or maybe you guys broke up whether if it was like a mutual thing or like on bad terms and she's trying to act like she don't want to be with you but then the moment you get involved with somebody else the world is over and now she doesn't want you to see your kid anymore like i don't understand that that we're gonna get into that let's jump into this eyeshadow first so i'm gonna go in with this sephora palette this is it's like a little like little travel palette super cute um the shadows look like this and i'm gonna go in with that little token color and again i always like to start with it all over my eye and i'm just gonna blend that all over All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna go all over the eye. I have like this vision for what I want this eye look to come out like. And I hope it comes out that way. Okay, so yeah, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I feel like 
there's so many and you know what I want this although they are baby daddies are bitter but like I want this video to be more based off like women and not that I have any kids and I don't need to have kids to understand that you don't need to be bitter Betty when your man breaks up with you or you guys break up and he's in a whole other relationship and you don't have to withhold your child because you're bitter like so I don't need to be a parent to understand that that's stupid but yeah, we're gonna also gonna go in. I put that taupey color, um, and then I'm gonna start working in some like browns, and then I'm gonna work it up to like the red tone that I want. And I'm gonna. Um, this is gonna be like a smoked out, blown out look, kind of like the last one I did. I don't want it to be perfect and not like precise. I got inspired by this picture that I saw on Instagram. Oh. I think that's the best way to find like a look like if you're trying to figure out like what kind of eye look you want definitely look like on Instagram like other makeup artists pages to get like some inspiration of course it's not gonna come out the same because everybody has like their own techniques of doing a shadow but you know it'll be like inspo for you so yeah baby mamas I just hate like bitter women because at the end of the day regardless of what happened in your relationship with this with this person you know, like you don't want to keep your child from them. And I feel like that's the difference between a bitter, like a baby mama and a mother of your child. Like the mother of your child is never going to like keep your kid from you or like use them against you when they get pissed off, pissed off at you over something. Like, of course, like you're not with this person. You're probably going to have like your moments where you don't agree on stuff, obviously, but you're still going to be like cordial because you guys have a kid together and you know you don't want your kid to suffer at the end of the day because that's that's all that happens like get you're pissed off at this other person but then you decide to keep your you keep the kid from them and who suffers do you think that's punishing the guy absolutely not that's punishing the kid and then what you're doing is you're just this wedge in between this child and this father and then they're gonna grow up to think that this person didn't want to be in their lives and it wasn't even like that you know and like I mentioned, I can't really talk too much about the dad side. Well, maybe I could because like my, I, I grew up, so my mother was a single mother, right? And despite what people might think, she didn't keep me from my father. He just didn't do a good job to be in my life or like make an effort to be in my life, right? So like that's different than for a guy who actually wants to be there, but you decide because you want to be a bitch, you don't want them to be around because you think that you're punishing them. That's stupid because you're not punishing the guy you're punishing the kid and then they have to grow up without a father and although my mom did a great job being a single parent and being my mom and my dad like it would have been cool to have like a male figure when I was younger although my beautiful wonderful father did come into my life when I was 10 years old that's a whole other video I have to make another video about that but yeah like you know then this kid grows up not having a relationship with their dad because of this bitter baby mama now, if they were just the mother of your child, they would be like, fuck it, I'm gonna put all our differences aside and we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're, it's gonna be whatever and I'm still gonna let you have a relationship with your child because I know that it's important for them to have a really, for you to have a relationship with your child. Because then the kid like grows up like knowing what it is to have their father around which who can show them things that the mother cannot show them. Because let's be realistic, especially when you're, depending on, what, you know, like what gender, or not even if you're raising a girl they still need to know what it is to like what it is to be around their father because there's gonna be things that they're gonna be able to teach them about how to be treated by by a man that a woman can't like of course we could have conversations with our daughters like oh you know don't let a man treat you this way don't let a man treat you this way but having their father around sets an example uh, for the type of man that they should have in their life you know and it's just sad that you know Women don't allow men to have relationships with their kids. And don't get me wrong, there are some men that don't deserve to have relationships with their kids. They're deadbeats or they're into things that you don't want your kids exposed to. And that's cool, like I get it. Or they're the type that's like in and out and never consistent. And I can understand when a woman is like, no, I'm not doing that, I'm not gonna let him be, be around our child because the X, Y, Z is happening and I don't, you know, I don't trust him. But don't say you don't trust the guy because he's in a whole other relationship and you're pissed because he's happy and now you don't trust him. Why? Because he has a new girlfriend or he's married or he's engaged or whatever the case is 
and you're upset because you want to be in that position well honey then maybe you shouldn't have let him go that's all I have to say because then lucky women like me get amazing men I already know my man is gonna be like an amazing father I know it like sadly he doesn't get to have the relationship he wants with his child but I know just the way he treats our goddaughter I already know he's gonna be like the bomb man's dad and I'm gonna be the lucky woman that gets to call him my husband and the father of my child and I'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> and I'm sure I'm gonna have people watching this video and they're gonna be pissed and they're gonna like me talking shit but guess what go back go go be a messenger go let people know this is how I feel anyway we're gonna go in I'm gonna actually take those same two colors and I'm just gonna like I'm actually like the darker one is this one right here and I'm just gonna like keep like adding that on layering just to deepen it a little more and then we're gonna go into like the more red tone colors okay baby mamas man it's so sad it really it really really is another thing is is that I feel that if for example, if my man and I were to have a child and we break up for whatever the reason is, I'm not going to be the type of woman that's going to be like, oh no, you can't bring my kid around so and so. That's not my business, what he does when we're not together. As long as he's not bringing anybody around that hurt or mistreat them, or that's doing things like that I wouldn't want my kids exposed to, then I'm not going to care. Like, have a good time. I'm not that I'm putting it out there that, that my man and I are ever gonna break up because he's stuck with me forever. But that's on the real cycle. <laughs> but like I feel like I would be the type of woman to be like, oh yeah, you want the kid for the weekend, here you go, pack up the kid and be like bye, so mommy could get a break. I feel like that's how it should be. And then on top of that, I feel like women or baby mamas who keep their kids from their father, especially when they're good fathers and wanna be a part of their lives, are stupid because then they complain that the work, the job is all on them and they have nobody to help them. Meanwhile, they could be dropping off their kid at their dad's house for the weekend and, for the weekend and they could go on and live their lives and they won't feel like burnt out and stressed out. Like, babe, you're doing this to yourself. Like, you're really doing this to yourself when you have this other capable person who wants to have a relationship with their kid you're making it easy for them not to be around or to do anything or to have any responsibility. That doesn't make sense. All right, so this like brownie color and then we're gonna go with the next one, next one, which is like a more cranberry color. And I'm just gonna, of course, keep going in and building. I figured I'd do my whole face because you guys have already seen like how I do my foundation and that gets boring after a while. I know like when I'm watching videos, I'm like, okay, I know what this girl's gonna do, I know what products she's gonna use. I don't have like any new foundation products that I'm using lately, so, you know, I don't want to bore you using the same products. And right, I'm gonna go in with a clean blending brush, like with nothing on it. And I'm just going to just blend everything out, so there's like no harsh lines. I figured I'd do this video because, you know, like, it, I just feel like it's one of those topics that a lot of people don't really talk about because they don't want to start drama. And not that, not that I'm trying to make these videos to start drama, although I know you guys love, you know, controversial videos or like juicy, juicy topics. I just feel like this is not a topic that gets spoken about a lot. And it's so sad because women are always bashing men. Oh, my baby daddy this, my baby daddy that they're trash or you know they're not good fathers they don't deserve to be fathers like and yeah that's true for some but baby mamas come on and I should be team like oh, all about women empowerment and team baby mom but I can't because I just haven't had very good experiences you know all right I'm blending this out Okay, I'm gonna go in with this pinky color just to kind of like start like getting that that berry tone I want to get with the same blending brush I don't know how pigmented these are so this is my first time using it so I'm like just gonna use a little bit at a time Ooh, that's pretty 
Does it have glitter in it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, because I want it to be like a berry color. Pretty. It's really pretty. I've been loving just putting shadow like all over my eye and then going in and cleaning it up with some concealer. I don't know, it's like my new thing to do. Pretty. Then I'm gonna go on with that same brown color that I had before. Just to deepen that up so it doesn't look so pink. And it's looking more like browny, like berryish. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's what's so fun about makeup is that you literally you I sound so fun as you you literally that you literally can like mix different like shadows together to get like the color that you want. So pretty. I'm gonna have to put more powder underneath to catch fallout. This is really pretty. I like this. All right, let me go on with that clean brush and blend. I just feel so sad because there are so many men that are such good dads, and their kids will never get to experience being with them because their baby mama just won't allow them to because they're upset and they're just plain upset. It's like you have to sit and think, like sit back and think. If you're a baby mama and right now you're not allowing your children to have a relationship with their father and they're a good father, like think to yourself, like why am I so upset? Like what is it that he's doing to me personally that I am making my kids pay for it basically and i'm not allowing my kids to have a relationship with their dad like am i jealous of the fact that we're no longer together and am i like not over that we're broken up like am i still in love with them do i still want to have a relationship with them and if you feel like yes i still love them i still want to have a relationship relationship with them then why did you break up with them in the first place why did why did you allow them to walk out or like why did you leave them why did why did you allow them to walk out your life like what about your relationship with them just didn't work out that they're not they're no longer with you and you're not able to have like the family that you want i mean i know not all relationships are going to work out regardless if you have kids and you should never like i mentioned in a prior video you should never stay in a relationship with somebody because you have kids with them but if you genuinely love somebody like and you already have a family with them and you know this is like the person that you want to be with then you wouldn't let them go so easily regardless of whatever and if for like let's just say you guys broke up and you had an opportunity to get back with them and you didn't take that opportunity and now they're in another relationship very happy don't be upset because just you shouldn't be upset with them be upset with yourself and you have to fucking move on like get over it like you're gonna be able to have a relationship with somebody else and of course you're not it's not gonna be the father of your children but they're gonna care for them just as much as the father does and so don't punish the father for whatever whatever happened between you guys like move the fuck on especially if it's been years like I, I could understand a person would be upset if it's like six months they just break up with their man and well, you know the father of their children and the fa and then they're already like in a whole other relationship and you kind of like fuck like I still want to be with them I, I could understand like you'd be upset and like you'd be bitter but if you've been broken up with this person for like 10 plus years and you're still acting like a dumbass that's just stupid and immature get the fuck over it I'm not I, that's all I have to say about that okay so you see how it's looking like a little like berry color ish I'm very satisfied with this color but I want to like take it up a notch and I want to use um, this like berry tone color here and I'm just going to take that all over the eye as well but I'm going to kind of focus it more I'm going to take it all over the eye and then focus it more on the crease and these are like very pigmented so focus it all over the eye I might have to go in with that, that lighter pink again just to like brighten it a little bit Mm -hmm. 
smoked out the um, lower lash line with all the same shades. Looking like the berry color that I want. I'm just gonna like pick it up a notch, um poquito. Un poquito, I sound like my sister. My sister is like the only gringa. I love her though, my white girl. I'm going to take, yeah, I'm gonna take like this reddish orangey color right here from the Morphe 3502 palette. Ooh, that's like really, 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 really orangey. Let's see. I'm just gonna put that like on the actual lid. Not that I already did anything. I'm literally just like sweeping that all over the lid. I'm not doing anything like precise today. Like this is like a messy look. This is like a look that you do like you want like on some quick shit. Like you're literally about to go out and you're like, oh fuck, let me do my makeup real quick. <laughs> This is like not a precise eyeshadow look. At all. Sometimes I feel like the messy eyeshadow looks like are the best ones. They come out so nice. And I'm literally just like focusing that on like from the in inner corner of my eyes, like the middle, and then Is it gonna get in my inner corner, which I like that little, it is looking like more pink on the inside. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna go in with that, that berry color in my crease, like just to continue to like, open my crease. Pretty. B bitter baby mamas, man. They just give women a bad name, too. It's like, then it makes men, just like, you know, how, like, we hear, like, like horror stories about, like, guys cheating or, like, being, like, assholes and, like, not treating their women right. Like, then it gives, like, women a bad name and then guys don't want to have kids. Because it's like, oh nah, I'm not trying to get caught up with a psycho ass baby mama. Like not all women are gonna be the same. Just like not all men are gonna be the same. So like, just don't do it to us. Don't, don't, don't make women look bad. Like if you have a child with somebody right now and you're, you're not allowing them to see their parent, then you need to slap yourself. You need to be upset with yourself because you are robbing your children of being or having a relationship with their other parent. And it sucks because every child should know what it's like to have a relationship with their mom and with their dad because it took both of you to make them. Now it's gonna, it's gonna take both of you to instill values and goals in them. But a lot of kids don't have that opportunity to, to have both their mom and dad are, are like around. And what's even worse if you are a bitter ass baby mama that grew up without a father and you're the ch the father of your children is fucking bomb and he wants to be around and I'm not only really talking about financially like this man wants to be involved he wants to go to school events he wants to be there he wants to go to parent teacher meeting and be involved and you're like nah because I don't like your new girlfriend <laughs> you're a dumb bitch because you're you also like fucking it up for yourself because like who wouldn't want to have like that support system? You're just, a, just these dumb bitches, man. I swear, immature. 
and you would think that women or like people in general will, will mature with age but what's so sad is like it'd be the older women that be on some dumb shit like that it's like if you don't want to be with this person before like why are you upset because they're in a whole other relationship like be happy for them they moved on just like i'm sure you've moved on i just i don't get it not whatsoever doesn't make any sense to me okay i'm gonna um go in with some eyeliner i want the look to like to be like sexy if i wanted it to be like more like a day look and not as like sultry i will go in with like uh, like a nude color in my waterline but i wanted to have like that like sultry like sexy look Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go in with some mascara and then I'm gonna put on some lashes, but I'm not gonna put that on camera because, well, maybe I'll try. Let's see. Let me put some mascara on. Like a very light coat of mascara. Nothing, I don't like this mascara. Something very light. Like just like sweep it on because you don't want to OD and get your lashes like really clumpy because then it's gonna be hard to put falsies on. You're just prepping them so that they can blend well with your false lashes. Mm, this shadow though, this shit came off so bomb. I'm in love. I don't know if I'm gonna put on eyeliner. I don't think so. And this is Sumptuous Beauty um, lashes, and these are the last. So I already use these, obviously. These are in the shade Milan. You can use the code Jamarie Ten um, for 10% off. Um, like the dark one, the black duo. I'm gonna take my little tweezer. And I like to work with like, I used to like to work with the pointy tweezer. That was like the way I learned how to put on lashes. But lately I've been liking this um, Kelly Baker lash one. I mean, uh, what the hell is this called? Tweezer, it's like slanted because then I can literally put the lash on and then like the, the slant kind of like helps to lay the lash perfectly. So I will say with when you're putting on lashes, um, these are already cut because I've used these before, but you should like cut them at the end, like on the side, the, not not the inner side, like on the outer side. Like measure it, right? Lay them on your on your eye and measure it and cut it. Like, and you should cut it so that it's like short, so it doesn't like stick. It's not too deep inside your eye into your inner corner, or that it doesn't stick out too much because then they they make your eye look droopy, and then they'll poke you in the inside of your eye, and then that could be annoying. Um. So yeah, so cut them so that they fit perfectly. Then when you're putting on your glue on the strip, you're gonna put like a good layer. What I like to do, especially when I do like makeup clients, is I like to put one layer, let it ta get tacky, and then put on another layer, let, let that get tacky. I just feel like it keeps the lash on for longer. So. And then you have to let it get tacky. Like don't expect to put lash glue on and then put the lashes on right away because then it's just gonna be slipping and sliding and it's not gonna stick. You have to wait for it to get a little sticky. Oh, I don't want anybody to also feel like I'm bashing women because that's not me. I'm all about like empowering women and like us like, you know, working together and being like powerful bomb ass boss bitches. But I just, I just get so upset and yes, if you know me and you know the circumstances with me and my man, you know that we are dealing with that. And it just sucks too, right? Because I want my man to be happy in like whatever circumstances it is, right? And so if me having a relationship with like a part, some someone that's a part of him, like that's gonna be important. That's important for him. So it's important for me too. And it just sucks that like that, that can't happen because people are like in their feelings. I just stop being in your fucking verse is like, let's say, you know, the father of your child gets into a whole other relationship and they have a child, then then their current child is gonna feel like they were replaced, although that's not even like, that's not even the intention. And then there's gonna be some resentment there. And like, that's not what you want either. Like, why do you wanna, why would you wanna like put like, why would you want your child to feel a certain, feel that type of way? Why would you let them like, like cause issues so that they could feel like that one day like that that's hurtful like that's that's something like that's that's crappy way to feel and like i don't know i just feel like i'm gonna be the type of mother like regardless of what happens with me and my man if we don't if we together forever which is you know that's the plan because i'm not going to work but if like we break up like i would never like want to be like a dumb bitch to be like oh no you're never gonna see your father because he's happy like with somebody else 
oh he had a new baby he's replacing you like why would i want my kids to feel bad like you thinking that that they're gonna hate their father because you're telling them that but it's like they're gonna feel bad themselves like fuck like what did i do like and start blaming themselves on the low like you want to be the cause of that you want to be like the one that put that in their head and it sucks because as I was growing up, like I saw my mom deal with that. Like my mom, hold on, let me put this lash on because the glue is tacky. So what you should do, I'm gonna try to see if I can put this on to kind of show you because everybody's like, oh, how do you put on your lashes? So you should have, I have this mirror here, right? You should look down into a mirror and place the lash like in the middle. So like grab the lash like this and place it into the middle of your eye. And then take the tweezer and I always start off with the outside. Yeah, I move the mirror. I just want to go in and bronze myself a little bit because I'm looking a little pale. Oh, I think I'm going to tan this weekend. Like do self tanner. Ugh, I'm so pale. Literally this summer, I didn't go anywhere. I got like no tan. So I was having to bronze and like bronze myself a lot and self tan. I'm so pale. Oh my god. My boyfriend was showing me pictures of like from when I had when, when, when we went to Jamaica and I had gotten like this bomb ass tan, but like my tan line, I was like, oh my god, I'm so white. He's like, yeah, you're that white now. <laughs> Depressing. And this is the butter bronzer, it's the one I always use. You know, my face looks skinny. I'm gonna just go in with a little powder underneath my bronzer just to like cut it. And poquito. Wet beauty blender. Just like basically like go right into it. down for a few minutes so I could just like carve out the bronzer um let's do some lips I'm gonna do since his eyes so like crazy I'm just gonna do like the most simplest lips ever oh and I'm gonna do bottom lash too so let me just go in with a little bit of mascara on my iconic um lip gloss in mm -mm, I think it is love struck it's like it's like a pinky color I'm just gonna go with my regular like nude, like taupey liner. I need to sharpen this. It's like dying. I forgot what brand this is, but I just love this pencil so much. I have to find them. And I found her on um, Instagram. I use my OG um, Soft and Gentle by MAC and I'm literally just going to use the um, Beauty Blender Oh my god, that's a lot And then go in with the butt and just kind of like blend it brush to be extra boom and this is the final look thank you guys for joining me in my third beauty session I feel like in conclusion um, if you're a bitter ass baby mama, get your life and let your, um, especially if they're if you're the father of your children is a great dad. 
um, let him have a relationship. Or if you are a dumbass baby daddy who doesn't like look for your kids or like care to contribute or even like spend time with your children, then get your life and start doing so because your kids need you. Um, and that's just another point that I want to make. Like, don't look for the, fa the father of your children only for money because kids don't remember what somebody buys them. Kids remember, like, the time that they got to spend with their mom or their dad, you know, who they love so much. Like, they're, that, they're gonna remember memories, not that he bought them a pair of sneakers. So, definitely take that into account if you're a bitter ass baby mama. Please feel free to leave me comments in, um, the comment section below on um, like this video please subscribe because it means so freaking much to me and i'm so happy to see that my channel is growing again and then you guys are enjoying the content that i'm putting out and i will see you guys in my next video Mwah.